Uh, concat is going to concatenate any number of observables in order. Uh, so it's a data stream creation operator. Uh, if any observable does not complete, subsequent are never subscribed to. And it also allows a schedule to be a scheduler to be supplied to control emission of notifications. So here we've got uh, two observable streams. We've got A and B. Uh, I'm going to use the concat operator. Uh, that A and B emit, I get a notification, a completion notification, another stream, X and Y, completion notification, and I'll get all of those values. So just concatenates them all to a single stream. And the point here is like, even though the first stream was completed, it continues to receive all their observable streams. Is this sequential? How does this differ from merge? Hmm. Uh, how does it differ from merge? That's a good question. Um, I may not. I may not know the answer. I apologize. Uh, we'll have to look that up. When the stream starts. <laughs> so with concat, it's it's the you, they they happen in the order you specify. So it's going to subscribe to the first one, let that one go to the completion. At completion, it'll subscribe to the next one you specified. Gotcha. Ah, okay. so uh, yes, they good call. Concurrently, okay. and it'll just merge them as they complete. So you'll never get the second one until the first. Yeah, correct. Yeah. Gotcha. So it's only when the first stream completes that then we get the values from the next one. So so or is that merge is going to merge them. one had been emitting values back here. Still won't get them. Yeah. Still won't get them until that completion, completion notification. So there's semantics there. So it depends on what kind of observable the second one is. Is it a cold observable or a hot observable? It would only be emitting if it was cold. If it's cold, oh, sorry, it would only be emitting ahead of time if it was hot. Mm -hmm. If it was yeah, cold, it would not be emitting so. anything until you subscribe to it, which only happens when the first one's done. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If okay. you're yeah. hot, then yeah. yes, it'll admit variables, but you're not subscribing to them until, until the completion of the And then at that point, the type, of, uh, the type of subject it is, if it's a subject, is going to determine what you get at that point for a hot observable. If it's a behavior subject, if it's a replay subject, right. it's a subject. If it's a replay, you'd get all so of them back. That's probably a, <laughs> a presentation in itself to kind of explain that while all the semantics involved in that. So, so what you're saying is any that were emitted prior to that subscription it well, it depends on the. On the if, if it's a replay it's subject, you'd get them all. It's not. It's like you said, it's probably your presentation yep. on that question. Okay. If it's an async subject, you'd get the last. Right, exactly. It upon completion. On yeah. Yeah, so it really it's depends like, on what your what input observables are. Uh, it would get last. Most of our examples are, kind of, I guess, kind of assuming you're you know, cold observables, in which case nothing starts until you subscribe, but you, nothing happens until the first one's end. Any other questions on concat? Good. So it puts those two streams together, but not in the same way that merge, where it's going to put them in line with each other. And you're going to get both, all those values coming through. So it's concat, just like concat. Mm, maybe where you only are concerned with the, I mean, it's basically you only want those first values, and then you want to start showing additional values. Serializing something, that uh, yeah, might be a good example. Um, this is kind of where once you get into this stuff and you start, um, the whole reactive programming clicks, then you start seeing the application for these things everywhere in your code. It's kind of, it's difficult to, to visualize all the cases for you because there's, there's so many. Um, yeah. And you have to encounter the situation where, oh, hey, I know concat will give you what I need for these replays. And there's, you know, good operators. So, uh, yeah, exactly. That wizard might actually help you figure out. Yeah, the wizard is very nice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it would be something where you're really, you want to get, you know, these first and like some sort of list or something in an application. Maybe you're hitting like two different APIs and you want to get, you want to list these out first and then these and then something else and then something else based on a sequence of observable streams that are all different. You know what I mean? 
I, I don't know what an example might be. You know, maybe like a like a dashboard app where it's like I want to go to this and maybe get this reporting first to show that, and then I want to show something after that. I don't know. It's very vague. I apologize. That's fine. Yeah. Sure.